Hey, I'm Ryan Lagarde. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. And Craig Tovey. Remember, if you like what you see, click subscribe. Or give us a like. Or leave a comment. Ooh, I have a comment. Craig, I can use chopsticks. Today's book is... <gasps> Spork! By Kyle McClare and Isabel Arsenault. Let's get started. Spork! By Kyle McClare and Isabel Arsenault. Spork was neither spoon nor fork. Spoon. Fork. Spork. But a bit of both. He had a mum and a dad, who both thought he was perfect just the way he was. But Spork stuck out. In his kitchen, forks were forks and spoons were spoons. Cutlery customs were followed closely. Mixing was uncommon. Naturally, there were rule breakers. Knives who loved chopsticks, tongs who married forks, but such families were unusual. It can be tough to stick out. Ryan, have you ever stuck out? Yeah, I did yesterday. Really? Mm-hmm. Stuck my hand out the window and I surfed the wind. It was tough. My hand was getting super tired. I'm not gonna try and explain. One day, after the billionth time he was asked, What are you anyway? And the zillionth time he was passed over when the table was being set, Spork sighed <sighs> and thought, It must be easier to be a single thing. And he decided he tried to pick just one thing to be. He thought he should start by fixing his head. He put on a bowler hat to look more spoonish, but the forks thought he was too round. Then he made a paper crown to look more forkish, but the spoons thought he was too pointy. Spork wondered if there were other lonely creatures out there with no matching kind who never got chosen to be at the table. At dinner time, he watched from the drawer while the spoons played pea hockey and skillfully balanced boiled eggs. He sat off to the side while the forks raked fancy patterns in the mashed potatoes and twirled noodles around in complicated circles like rhythmic gymnasts. And at the end of this and every other meal, Spork looked on while the others enjoyed a super bubbly bath in the sink. I take sink baths all the time. Ryan, you're way too big for a sink. No, I have a sink in my bathroom. It's attached to my shower. That is called a tub. I call it a sink, and I take sink baths every night. Until one morning, a messy thing arrived. This messy thing had obviously never heard of cutlery customs or table manners. No, this messy thing smeared and spilled and flung and clumped and dripped without a care. Wait, said the forks, but the messy thing did not wait. Careful! But the messy thing was not careful. Help! Said the forks, while the messy thing continued to slop and splatter. Quick! Said the spoons. Now, a fork may be good for poking and picking, and a spoon may be fine for scooping and stirring, but this messy thing with its slurpy and clumpy half-finished food bits needed something else. Something that could do all sorts of things at once. Something flexible and easy to hold. Something that was neither spoon nor fork, but a bit of both. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. I know, it's a Swiss army knife. Of course, obviously, it's a bit of both. <laughs> Mmm, don't. Mmm, it's <laughs> obvious. Guaranteed. Next page. That's when Spork landed. The messy thing saw Spork and immediately stopped and gurgled. It grabbed Spork and held him motionless in its fist. It tapped him once and let out a cheerful shriek. It wagged Spork excitedly up and down. And that's how Spork finally and happily found his way to the table. Whoa! Whoa! That's a big baby! That's a huge baby! It's a big old baby! Biggest baby ever! Big baby! Baby! Just a bit round. Just a bit pointy. Just right. You know what else is just right? Oh yeah, surfing the wind and sink baths. I was gonna say, all of us are just right. Sure, but mainly sink baths. Spork! By Kyle McClare and Isabel Arsenault. Well, thanks for watching Storytime with Ryan Lagarde and Craig Tovey. If you love that book and want to see more, please click subscribe. And you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, 
That's it. We'll see you next time. time.